really exciting day today. As you guys have seen, this year we've doubled, no, we not even tripled, we quadrupled our efforts to finally dress up our house, interior design, everything. Gio has been doing an amazing job. And what is even cooler is um, in our last house, you guys remember our first Vegas home where we had that crazy uh, panda marble on the fireplace? Well, Andrew from CMI, Color Marble Incorporated, they reached back out and they're like, dude, we would love to do your guys' new fireplace. And we're like, what? That'd be freaking insane. So I'm super excited to be working with them on this. We collabed, we met. You guys have seen us go to his headquarters, his showroom, and look at all the beautiful types of stone, natural stone, quartz, all those uh, different like masonry types that he has at his warehouse. And we finally dialed it in to the two stones that we want. Uh, one I believe is called like a vanilla onyx. There's like very very specific terms I have to look at the paper and the other one was like this super dark really moody one and it's here This is our driveway. It's just arrived. They got the measurements already. Look at how beautiful this stone is And the fabricators already pre-cut where the fireplace is gonna be It's already beveled this is the other pieces that go into the bedroom. So this is the boring bare wall of our living room right now. It's just the same paint as over here. And yes, we did as much as we could, you know, getting a dope chandelier, dope couches, two-tone couches, cool coffee table, even a really cool rug that Gio picked out. But it looks underwhelming when you kind of look at this whole thing, right? The tone doesn't really change, it's not dynamic, it's just all kind of like white goes to white over here. So what we're gonna do is put that sick ass vanilla onyx on this fireplace and it's gonna go from the floor to the ceiling and it's gonna be so show stopping, it's gonna catch your attention and as soon as you come in, you're gonna have that piece that you're like, oh, okay, this sets the, to uh, the tone for the room. And um, that's really, really important when it comes to interior design because when everything's kind of just muted, nothing like pulls it in and, and gives you that feeling of what the room's supposed to feel. And the pieces that Geo chose whew, looks freaking incredible. And I could already see how it's gonna look right here. So you guys are about to be impressed. So the bedroom's even boringer because we gave zero effort so far and please excuse this dirty ass room Taika just brings in random things all the time didn't have time to make the bed in the morning but check it out it's just all bare white i mean the room has cool shape because the roof kind of goes higher there's a lot of potential here with all the windows and stuff but once again everything's all white so we're gonna put this black marble here that's really gonna pull the attention here and then we're gonna repaint this room to make it really moody so it lowers the energy so you feel sleepy and you feel lull and be uh feels relaxing the way a bedroom should feel we want the living room to feel nice and bright and uplifting and energetic so we're kind of taking this opportunity to put on this really really cool stone and use that as a catalyst to do this whole bedroom like we're gonna paint it and all that stuff so really excited about the projects that are going on because I feel like this is really gonna transform our beautiful home into something that's even more beautiful. And a shout out to Color Marble for hooking us up and if you wanna work with us. And always reach out to Andrew. Um, he's the owner and he is a blast to work with. He'll do whatever it takes to accommodate you. And he'll try to source things if he doesn't have it, color match things if you need it, pull out slabs anytime that you're looking for stuff. And when you go to his showroom, his showroom is beautiful. It's completely white has all the skylights so you get a very accurate view of what the pieces are supposed to look like which is very very rare, uh, rare if you've seen a bunch of warehouses okay it's happening it just got rolled in and then they cut a little cutout for where the cable box and uh, the cables will go so that thing is perfectly measured for that fireplace right there and inside you can see the texture way better when it's like a matte finish like this is called leather finish so it has like a very minimal sheen but um it's like a different type of sheen like this you now it's kind of like glossy 
we didn't want the light to reflect off of it. We wanted it, the stone to pull the attraction in. So that's why we went with that finish and it looks incredible. Cause I think like, if you think of like nineties, like luxury homes, those homes are like, have that crazy shiny marble. Like if you think of like a Vegas casino. So I think the modern look is to not be so shiny, same stones, same materials, but they could finish it in a different way. And this looks insane. Look at that. Okay, mama. So the marble that we stared at at the warehouse is finally in the house. I know you're busy working, but I think before it goes on, it's very important for you to see this. Ready? Really? Do I want to see it? Hurry, 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 hurry. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is close. really pretty. Go up close. And I don't want to get in his way. Ooh, that leather finish is nice. Right? Ooh la la. That's Doesn't it look incredible? You want to see something else incredible? Yeah. Let's go outside. Two, one. All right, take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Look at the big panel. Oh. Isn't that crazy in all its glory? Look at that. I Looks insane, it. right? Yeah, this leather finish is... It did, huh? Yeah, because when it's not leather, that's when it's super glossy and shiny. Yeah. And like really uh, like polished, as, I guess. As the kids would say, he's him. You're so dumb. <laughs> oh my god, this is gorgeous, dude. Beautiful, huh? They say this is really popular. That's not why I got it. I just thought it was really beautiful. I, and then, it's a, it's, I think it's like a luxury modern look. Yes. Is what I like about it. So this is the mood board I was telling you guys about. Our interior designer Lorene put this together so we can have a overall feel and concept of what the finished product would look like. And she even mocked it up, got that vanilla onyx in there. So it looks hella nice. That's the stone texture. Eventually we're gonna put some drapes, even paint the ceiling um, this color, I forgot what it was called. Other drape options and just in case um, they didn't have the exact stone that we wanted. She even put a secondary stone, which is this travertine tile. So it would either gonna be this, like over here, or this over here. What was really cool about CMI is they actually had both. And not only both, they had different options in all of them. Like some of them, they're like, okay, this one is synthetic. This one is more of a shinier finish. This is bigger panels. So they have a huge, huge selection um and if you guys seen in that vlog when we went to their warehouse it's like humongous it's incredible so the cool thing is we're able to go with plan a which is this one i'm calling it the vagina stone because it looks literally like a vagina or at least looks like geo's vagina so we'll always remember what it looks like oh my god hey why, why are you laughing over there huh Top secret stuff, get out of here. <laughs> Fine, she's working on top secret barber good stuff. But anyway, so yeah, we have Gio's vagina on the wall. Can't wait to represent that. That's the living room. Um, and this is the moody ass bedroom I was telling you guys about. So remember how I showed you the footage and it looked all white? And it was like, it almost looked like, oh, the sun's coming out even though it's like 10 p.m. So now it's gonna be nice and moody and dark. We're gonna go with this succulent uh, paint color. And then we're having the Zanzibar black stone. So it has like stripes in it. And, and then we're gonna paint even the roof a different color and uh, put drapes and all that. So it's gonna look super sick. That was option two. Um, but cool thing is, like I said, CMI's inventory is insane. So we, we got option one and enough too. Because sometimes one of the problems is people might have a lot of selection, but they may not have a lot of inventory. So for example, our home, it's high ceiling. So cool, they have that option, 
but do they have enough panels to cover the fireplace? Like our fireplace, I think is like 16 feet or 18 feet tall or something like that. And not only do they have selection, they also have inventory. So shout outs to Andrew. He really, really hooked us up and just had everything set aside for us. So amazing experience so far. So can't wait for them to finish this today. And I think they're gonna work on this tomorrow. Okay, mama. So it's halfway done for the day. So they have to come back tomorrow. But it, it stopped peeking. Mama's eyes keep wandering around. Stop peeking. You're just talking too much. But they're they got half of it, or maybe a third of it on there. You ready? Let's take a look at those eyes. <gasps> Ooh, damn! That's really nice. Damn. That's really nice. It's nice, right? And it goes well with the rest of the, the house and the kitchen. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. Shit. Look at that. Let's get up close and personal and look at the grain. Wow. Damn, look at that. Oh my, oh. Dude, look at that. Beautiful. Clean. No real gaps between the fireplace and the framing. Wow. Sick, right? That's fucking nice. It makes that look so cheap. Which one? The rest of the house? Yeah, the quartz, I guess it is. Yeah. Fuck. But looks good. It looks like it all goes together in the same color family. Got some of that brown, some of that like cream, all tied in to there. Those have zero reflection compared to like so much reflection off the counter incredible this does make this look like shit though <laughs> <laughs> would you compare the two because you're like damn that's a that's rolex real. Yeah, and then real. you're like wait a minute this is a folex because without this here looks this looks cool. dope like when you just walk into here right you just walk in you're like oh damn, that's a nice kitchen what this is dope yeah look at this it's nice and then you see this, and then you're like, wait a minute, this is fake. <laughs> yeah, cause this is real stone, that's yeah. not real. But damn, you can really tell, dude, this is fucking beautiful. Wow. And we're gonna be painting, did you tell them about the ceiling? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah, they saw the mood board. Yeah, that's gonna be tan and beautiful, shit. All right, y'all, so I was mid-training and I saw him roll the new bedroom piece inside and it looks incredible. Okay, mama, whatever you do, don't look outside. I knew this guy was gonna stand up. <laughs> you big cuny. Look at oh, that thing. Oh shit. They're about to bring oh, the rest of the living room in. You see that big monster machine? Fuck. Did you see what? it when it was outside? Yeah. It has six, six like suction hydraulic suctions. One of those goes. <sighs> bye bye, sled. I knew this guy was gonna just jump up right away. I never saw anyone get up that fast. Like this? <laughs> Whoa, dude, you should go in the NFL. That was a four second, 40 yard dash. Show mama, show mama, watch. I'm gonna start over here, show mama, that was so fast. Go, ready? Three, two, beep. <laughs> that was fast though. Whoa, that thing, how's so that gonna? Gone. I took this duty to, uh, Nebraska. I took him to Nebraska. Yeah. Um, what did what did I miss? So so far they uh they put the first bottom panel on the live uh bedroom. Okay. And then they're just leveling out all the little drywall. Yeah. Because they didn't do a good job of making it straight at this house. Yeah. So they they have a lot more work cut out for them. Yeah. But I'm just seeing them rotate that thing and it looks freaking insane. 
How are they gonna bring that machine through the door? I don't even know. This ain't their first rodeo, Papa Quan. True. How come they're gonna drop it? Get out my way! <laughs> so here's a little detail that I don't think usually gets captured. These safety wires, because they'll put bolts all over the place so that in addition to whatever this epoxy cement thing is, there's a ton of wire that they connect so that this panel doesn't just straight fall off, which is really cool. And I think more importantly than the bottom one, the top one is really gonna need that because the bottom one is sitting on the floor. So that's a really cool part of the process that makes me feel good. The last thing I want is just watching TV, the whole wall falls down. And um, they're having trouble bringing all that stuff in right now because it is a big giant piece, but at the same time, that's what makes it so beautiful is that it's one solid piece. So as they say, beauty is pain. Okay, they're about to mount the top piece. They got hella people working because that thing is heavy as fuck. So I'm gonna stay out their way, but. So we got one little small complication. We gotta bring that big ass machine in. And that big ass machine don't fit through the door. So they're gonna take apart the door right now so that the machine, as you see on the outside, could fit. See that? That's the only way. The other way, I was thinking of bringing it through the back, but it might crack our tiles. So, we're working it through. Sick, it made it through. That thing is huge. Holy smokes. That thing is humongous. Damn, look at those tires. Dang, serious. Oh, care about that shadow here. Alright guys, our Bell Cave project is finally complete with the marble stones in both our living room and bedroom and this is not day three. This is day five because the installers have to do a lot of work and it is finally done. And I am so freaking excited to present to you what both our bedroom and living room looks like because it literally took like this and it went bam do you agree uh yeah, what do you mean bam to bam i mean like, the like room looked boring to now it's like bam you know those Fun. 90s like uh movies where it's like you take the nerd from school oh, oh, and then you take the yeah, yeah yeah they're like really fucked up looking yeah and they go Boom, and they're like models and you're like whoa yeah. yeah they act like it's a completely different person yeah like i didn't know our house could look like this yes so once we put this on, I was like, damn, do I live in a hotel or what? Yeah, this is actually um, a piece that I'm a little bit nervous about um, just because this, is, this wasn't really the direction I was trying to go in. Like I really wasn't trying to go this bold, mm -hmm. this quickly and by myself. Like, yes, I did have Paw Bear there to assist me, but like, you know. <laughs> you know what? 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 We know who's the steezier, one of the two of us. Or just, I am. I'm, I'm in terms of like style and choices, I tend to be the more bold one between, yeah. the, between us two. I'm boring. So um, there was such a huge selection for me to pick from. And I was like, wait a minute. This is rad. I don't see this marble. This seems really unique to me. So I'm like, I like it. Like it was very refreshing. And that's why I'm like, ooh, I'm nervous because it's just so bold. Ready? Yep. Because I love this shit. Yeah, me too. Three, two, one. Boom! Shaka laka D Z. Yeah. So I never pictured myself going with such 
bold, deep black stone. I never pictured having black stone in the house either. Same. Um, but this is called Zanzibar marble. We did get it in a nice polish, but look at all the different colors in like, you see all the little layers? Yeah, it looks it's almost not... like, like wood grain, but stone grain. Yeah. If that was a thing. And that's what was very appealing to me. Like it was, it was just such a unique stone that I'm like, holy crap. I usually see like the black marble with like the white veins and stuff. I don't ever see this type of marble. And I'm like, oh my God. As yeah. soon as I saw it, I'm like, Love yeah, it's incredible. Because there's like hues of blue, gray, brown, but like from afar, yes, it just looks black. But you come in and there's just so many layers. <sighs> and I love it. I can't wait for you guys to see the final room look. This is just like, I, I feel like this is the icing on the cake. Yeah. And now we got to like reverse engineer and then make the rest of the room enhance this beautiful natural stone. It straight up sets the tone though. It does. But I can't wait to see what the room looks like. Show them what the living room looks like. Okay. So this room's supposed to be moody. It's supposed to relax you. It's supposed to help you go to sleep. It's yeah. supposed to um, make you just chill out. Mm -hmm. But in our living room where we have a lot of windows and a lot of natural light, I wanted you to feel alert, but mellow. Um, not necessarily chill, but relaxed. So I'll present to you. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh, Beautiful stone. Look at and that. I don't know if you guys can already tell the difference. In our room, it was super shiny. And you can even see my reflection on it. Um, but this one. Oh, yeah, you can't even see your reflection. There's none of that. We got what's called a leather finish. I didn't even know this existed. But this stone has a leather finish, and this stone is called. Taj Mahal and I absolutely love it just because of all the movement and the veins and again it's like it and you love veins <sighs> why are you Bert's looking gone. down why are you Bert's looking down gone because I'm trying to talk about my room but no Damn. I could sit here and stare at this piece because it literally feels like a piece of art like a living piece of like art. like a living piece of art and the fact that this is naturally occurring just blows my mind but I just love the quality of the stone. It's just, it's just perfect. Yeah, so check this out. This is what I'm talking about when I'm saying like it fucking elevated it and it turned that nerd into a supermodel. Like I think our house looked pretty cool, looked pretty dope, but man, when it goes from like, when you have this, it, this looks like a restoration hardware magazine shoot. And like the way that this, marble pulls in all the colors of like the brass yeah. the different beige tones that taupe tone over there the whites even like just like some of the mountain ranges outside like the color of the dirt and also still tying it into the kitchen looks incredible and i am so freaking happy shout outs to andrew from cmi uh, color marble they're in city of industry if you guys are looking for some sick ass fucking stones and i'm talking about they do everything they got uh precious stones semi-precious stones marble synthetic tile any type of masonry that you need for any project like i got i know a lot of people that follow us either have their own homes running airbnbs rentals you own a boba shop like i'm talking about any type of construction project if you need, make sure you check them out. Go to the link below. They've been awesome to work with and they have literally some of the best inventory and samples available. Any last words, my love bug? Um, what I absolutely love, Andrew is our age. Um, so he's very hip to the cool, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Like he knows what all the trends are and he knows what's super popular, AKA Taj Mahal. When I picked this, he was like, dude, this is what's in right now. You're in it, you're like, so he's, he's like tapped in, you know what I'm saying? Yep. So uh, it's really rad to go there, check out the inventory as Bart said, um, and they're just up on all the trends. So if you're like, I don't know, but I wanna be trendy, I really, I really don't know, go check them out. That's the place to go because they know what they're talking about.